This is the honey badger. Watch it run in slow motion. It's pretty badass. Look, it runs all over the place. Whoa, watch out, says that bird. It the honey badger has been referred to by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most fearless animal in all of the animal kingdom. It really doesn't give a shit. Hey, how's it? So with the air rifles we have nowadays that are becoming so powerful, I mean, 40 foot pound, 55 foot pound, 65 foot pound, obviously we need to start shooting those air rifles further and further. So we can't be sitting at 25 and 50 meters. We need to be shooting 100 and 150 meters. Now, in order to do that, obviously we don't want to go through trial and error. We don't want to go and figure out you know, how much does my pellet actually drop between 75 and 100 meters or 50 and 150 meters? And fortunately, there's quite a few applications or ballistics applications that we can download to help us through that process. So one of the ones that I recently uh, caught a liking to is called Chair Ballistics Elite. Um, I actually think there's a plus at the end as well. And the reason why I like it is because it immediately has a list of all the pellets that I use, you know, whether those are 18.13 grain JSBs, whether those are 25 grain redesigns. Uh, it, it's got a list of all of them. It's also got a list of all my Hawk scopes. So I really like that. I can just select the scope that, uh, that I currently have on whichever rifle it is. And immediately it gives me the reticle, it gives me all of that information. So, so I really like that as an application. But one of the things that all of them ask is what is your scope height? So you actually need to specify what that is. And that is what this video is about today. We're going to look at how do we determine our scope height. And it's really a very simple calculation that we need to go through. Firstly, we need to measure the diameter of our scope bell. Then we need to measure the diameter of our barrel. And then we need to measure the gap between our scope bell and our barrel. So please join me for this little exercise as I do it on my impact. And let's see how that works. So the first thing I'm going to use is a little um, measuring tool. Now, obviously, I could use this end and put it inside if I really wanted to get sort of one micro ball here closer, uh, but that's not really necessary for what I want to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just measure my scope bell, and I'm going to get that pretty accurate. Obviously, these measurements um, has an impact on accuracy. So there I can see that that is 63 0.87 millimeters. Now what you want to do is to divide that number by two. Okay, so um, excuse my ignorance, I obviously have to use my calculator here. 63.87 divided by two gives me 31.93. So 31.93 as a calculation and obviously that is in millimeters. So the next thing we need to measure is actually our barrel. Now, you, you know, if I want to measure the barrel just underneath or, or the, the objective is actually to measure the barrel just underneath the bell, um, but I'm just going for easier sake. My, my barrel is consistent throughout, so I'm just going to measure it in the front here and let's see what we're sitting with. So that is 27.86 millimeters. So 27.86 millimeters. And obviously I'm going to go and divide that by two as well. So 27.86 millimeters divided by two gives me 13.93. Okay, so now the last thing that we want to do here is measure the distance between the, um, the barrel and the bell of the scope itself. So I'm going to do exactly that. So I want to see what the easiest way is to get these in here. Um, so, so let's just go and, and make that 
adjustment. I'm always so afraid to scratch anything here. Okay, and that is 31.76 millimeter. So 31.76 millimeters. And all we do now is we calculate all of those uh, numbers together. So uh, the, the bell of the scope divided by two, the diameter of the barrel divided by two, and then obviously the distance between the barrel um, and the scope itself. So if we look at that, we've got 13.93 uh, plus 31.76 plus 31.93. So what we've got there is 77, 77.62 millimeters. Now, most of these applications is not going to ask you that value in millimeters. It actually wants that in centimeters. So in essence, I'm going to just change this to 7.7 .7 centimeters. Um, I, I could do even 7.71 if I really want to. Um, and that's really the process that you're going to go through in order to calculate your scope height Put that into the application because obviously the more accurate you could be, the more uh, detailed information that ballistics applications actually going to give you. Okay, see you on the next one.